All right, you guys, so we're gonna be going into very basic intro of Don't Pull On My Leash. So just real quick, the color, the vibration is non-directional. Any definition of a shock is that it's uncontrollable, it comes out of nowhere. Our job is to give direction to the pager and give the dog an understanding that the pager got turned on because he pulled on the leash. So that means it gives the dog a clear uh, clarification. Oh, I turn that pager on by pulling, I turn it off by not pulling. Last but not least, we are going to guide the dog which way, the direction, because the collar is non-directional. So step number one, what we're going to be doing is that um, you're only going to give yourself the full six feet. You're going to be going back and forth, make this game so easy that there's no way you can fail. I'm letting it kind of be a little pushy. We're going to be introducing our vibration through every pull, and we're going to be doing the back and forth movement to guide him which way we want him to go. So I'm going to go ahead and start now. I'll start saying pager when I'm going to press the pager. So, pager. No pager there. Didn't pull. Just trying to get a little bit now. Pager. Good. I'm being a little sloppy on my back and forth. If you notice, I'm not doing a perfect back and forth. Pager. Good. This dog has a sort of an understanding of what I'm doing, so he's going to be sticking to me. When you guys first start this, start this in your driveway, start this in your backyard. Don't go anywhere difficult yet. No pager there. No pager there. Good. The goal is to do 10, 15 minutes twice a day if possible of this exercise. Your job is to master that when you press the pager, he turns with that leaf. Then later, no pager, he's coming to you. That's when you know you can start moving up your distraction ladder. All right, you guys, hope you like this video. Talk to you soon.